Alright guys, we're back with something a little bit different. You can clearly see I've got Catherine of Aragon right there. I wanted to try a challenge, just kind of for myself, so I'm going to do a couple different versions of Catherine of Aragon, just depending on how she's been portrayed in the media, because there's quite a few, and some of these are you know, my favorites, and some of these are more for the aesthetic or visual look. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I've had a lot of people ask how I build my sims, and I don't really know how to explain it in words, so I'm just going to kind of show you and do my best to explain. So the first one we're going to do is from the Tudors, which is probably the most well-known portrayal of her. Obviously she has the wrong hair color, forever bitter that they always make her have black hair, but she at least has blue eyes, so we're going to go with it. I'm going to use this Pooklet My Poor Lover number two because I feel like that matches the best. This is going to be too pale. That's going to be a little bit too dark. Uh, let's give her some blue eyes. I actually, I had the, I think, onomatopoeia eyes for ages and I updated. I have these now and I also have like these, which I really, I love how spotty they are. I just really do. But let's give her some really clear blue eyes. I think that's good. We definitely need another, a different starter face here because that's the main thing too is, especially in Sims 2, what your base or what you're working with is really going to affect what you're able to make, at least in my experience. Sometimes I'll try to use these like, I'll go like that a little bit just to kind of blend the features. But in cases like this, I'm, I'm just going to go straight for the photo references. So I picked this photo because it's another important part because it shows full face head on, her head's not tilted. I want to see if I can actually make it a bigger, yeah. Her head's not tilted for the most part, like it looks like it's a little tilted, but not bad. And that's kind of the base that you want to use, it's not Pinterest, that's kind of the base that you want to work with, something that's very clear, that shows her features, or his features, depending on who you're making, and you just really want to find a reference photo that you can work with. Another thing that I do, why is my brain melting? Hair, hair's hair. As I get all the hair out of their face, I try to pick a hair, like normally I could pick something like that, but the hairline's low, and so the forehead could be off. That's not too bad. So we'll use that just to get her hair out of her face. And I start at different points. I can't pretend that I have like a method to my madness. I'm actually gonna swap these. You can see my very messy desktop just because it gives me a better field of vision here. So face length is an important one, I feel like, just in terms of building the rest of your face. And I've got, like the shape, I feel like it's really important too. I've got a lot of custom sliders, which also helps when you're trying to get some accurate portrayals. She looks like she's got some cheekbones and it, we're going to tweak this. This is just how I start is with the full face on and then I try to find a three quarter profile picture as well as a like an actual profile picture. Because she's an actress and she's been in a lot of things, usually that's, a, that's an easier thing to do. It's harder with portraits and things like that. Looks like her chin goes down a little bit. I'm trying to see, like, in terms of where her eyebrows, if, if it goes out more or in. I'm also gonna change her eyebrows just because that is important for the shape you're trying to get if you basically set up the facial features themselves for one eyebrow and then swap them out, it's going to look different. Let's throw those on her right now. They should change color when I change her hair. Because yes, I'm going to change her hair to black. I'm very resentful of that fact, but I'm going to do it. I also try not to change anything that I'm not certain of. Like, I don't know this part yet, the outer orbit depth, so I'm not going to change it. She does have a bit of a rounder face, which does fit in with the portraits that we have of her. It looks like she's kind of got some larger ears, kind of lobey. 
Also, sometimes if I don't know what a slider is for, I go like to the extremes and it really helps to kind of visualize what I'm doing. Oof, no. No, no, no. Although this would be great to make like a jowly, jowly sim. And some of the changes you make are going to be very, very slight. I also have these, which are um, asymmetrical, I believe. Unless I'm... No, these are ears. Never mind. I used to have asymmetrical ones, but... Oh yeah, no, this, that's what this is. Which is really handy for real features. I think Hugh, Hugh Dancy, I believe that's his name, he has kind of asymmetrical nostrils, and so that was just something that I noticed was really hard to recreate on Sims, and so having those was really useful. I don't actually know if they're installed, though that one is, but who knows? Who knows? I think they are, because look at that, look at that, okay. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, no, her eyebrows don't. I'm gonna leave those at the defaults. They kind of go up a little bit. She does have a bit of an arch. I may change these brows again, but they're fine for now. That's about the height, because you can see the height of her eyebrow from her actual eye. Her lids are not that hooded, but we will definitely fix that. Looks like they're a little bit thicker. I also love these, because they really help you define the eyebrow. Slight eyebrow tilts, I don't want to go too crazy. He should be in a little bit more. Um, let's see. Because her portrayal was meant to be an older Catherine. Catherine who has seen some things. And unfortunately, Henry wasn't too nice to her at that point. We don't get the, we don't get the nice part of their relationship. We get the end. Because they did have a pretty decent relationship, I would say. Like, he definitely wanted to marry her. And he probably didn't have to. Like, again, debate, but like, he made that decision. There was nobody else in charge. As we all know, he kind of does what he wants. And I'm gonna use this to bring the lid down, because she really doesn't seem to have much of a lid. I also love these because sometimes I've noticed, especially with Sims, they have kids and like their eyes, like their, the lids are just weird or the under eye shadow gets really weird. And I really don't like it. She has very wide eyes, I'm noticing. They're maybe a bit closer together there. Trying not to be completely silent while I do this because can be. I want to say this eye is a little bit less. Not like a lot, but a little bit. I really love these. I know it seems so silly, but for me, that's like groundbreaking. I'm like, yes! What is... Oh, jeez, no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Catherine. Is that too much? I think that's too much. She's not quite there. Ooh. See, I downloaded some of these a while ago, and I haven't really been playing with them too much. So it's interesting for me, to say the least. I almost think her eyes are a little bit... No, 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 no. They're almost up tilted, but not really. I have a corner, though, to kind of mimic that change the under eyes. And sometimes you'll do things and you're like, oh, now I gotta go back and fix that because it looks weird. And that's fine. Like, I feel like some people get really focused on being wrong and then they just don't, they quit. They don't want to do it anymore. Which teaches own, but it's a lot of trial and error. Really is. I can see here her eyes are way above her ear. Ear, which does some things I don't like. But we'll work with it, we'll work with it. 
I'm not gonna quite go that high. I just feel like that's gonna look like, it's not gonna look good that high. I'm like looking at it going, that's, that's more correct. Technically, that's almost more correct, but we're not, we're not gonna do it. We'll do this. I, I can accept that. I don't like it, but I will accept it. Is that too close together? Yes, it is. As you can see, she, she gets a little funky, but again, it happens. Next is the nose, which definitely needs to come up now that I've moved the face. The nose is really hard for me personally because it's so specific. Like, you just, you have to really get it. Because otherwise they just don't look like who they're supposed to look like. Ooh. doesn't really have too baldy of a nose. Not the easiest thing to move. We don't want to go down that far. Oh geez. That's new. This is me discovering all the new things I've downloaded. She definitely has kind of little bits wider. She doesn't have too much of a flared bridge. No, it should be more in like Oh, jeez. It's hard because her head's the teensiest, tiniest bit tilted. So I'm trying not to let that affect what I'm doing. And it happens, like, you just, you can't get a perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, we can break people's noses. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you're, you're never going to get it absolutely perfect. You're just, you're going to do your best. I just like to get things to the point where I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. Where it, I could feasibly say, okay, that looks like Maria Doyle Kennedy. Yeah. Kennedy? I don't even know. Oof, no. hope that isn't super duper choppy. I found a way to get around my recording issues and that is to pause, start a new recording, and then it's not a 20-30 minute long video. We'll see how that goes for me. We'll see. Because I just don't know what else to kind of do to get around that issue. It just appears that I can't really change it, so... We're going around. I don't think her nose shouldn't be so upturned. I'm really not happy with her nose. But it shouldn't be like that either. Like, we should see some. This is the bit we need to... What if we did that and then we... We're gonna come back to the nose. Sometimes you just kind of have to get it in a vague shape and then you need to leave it alone for a minute while you go to something else because otherwise you're gonna focus quite a bit on that and spend a lot of time and then just get frustrated. She does have a very wide space between her, the end of her nose and like her top lip. I love that I touch my mouth. Like you can see me, but we can pretend. She's got some decent grooves between the mouth, which makes sense because this is supposed to be an older portrayal of her. So at that point, she's going to be showing some signs of aging. She really has a very tiny, small, small little lip there. Uh, but I don't want it to be... Okay. Yeah. Let me do the slightest upturn, just because I want to. Not for any logical reason. Looks like this part of her mouth is actually a little bit wider. 
but then it goes up so there's almost not like that V. Some people have like a really prominent like V I guess and some people don't have any. Where's my... this. It looks like her mouth goes a little bit up. have any of that going on. No lower lip gape. I think that's pretty good. Alright, let's get this jaw. She's got kind of a, a square jaw for having such kind of... I always think of her as having delicate features, but she does have quite a stronger jaw than I think that she does. But just like a right here. That looks a little pointy though. Not a literal point, but. Well, I've got literal jowls. Yes. No. Alright, so now is tweaking time. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair that I want to put on her now, just because it's helpful for me to see. No, I don't. I mean, I love that hair, it's new, but I don't think it's right for her. I mean, part of me just wants to put a hood on her because it's technically what she should have. She's got such a small forehead, I'm gonna have to go down with the face. See what I mean about you just there in your you tweak. That might be too low, but we're gonna find out. I hate giving her black hair, even if it's authentic to the portrayal. Hate it. Hate it. I just don't understand why that got started and why it just continued to happen. It was not necessary. I could I could do that, but yeah, it's not modest enough for her. Like, this is not something she ever would have worn. Like, ever. She probably wouldn't even wear that. Like, she, w she wore a traditional gable hood. She was legit. Let's see. Hairs are the hardest for me. I just, I have so many of them. And I'm always convinced I'm going to find something that I like better. And then I end up going back to something that I picked ages and ages before. That actually isn't too bad. So again, we're trying to match reference photos. That isn't terrible. Her face needs to be wider, I think. Something about the nose, but I think what's going to help that is when we go back because now we're going to work on the profile which this isn't a perfect profile but I'm going to take it because it's pr pretty close yeah see the profile's all wrong because it's hard when you're not seeing the whole features but I can see now her nose needs to go way further out like that needs to have more of a straight bridge. Is that? No, not that one. Of course, half this is remembering which sliders are which. I almost think it needs to come out even more. Let's make it a little bit longer. Almost needs to go like that. And then I'm still not happy with her nose. I don't know why I'm not happy. Oh. That might have done it. I think that did it. Alright, forehead. Forehead. 
right in front of me. She's got kind of a round forehead, really. Her brows don't really stick out too much. Her eyes are not very sunken in. I do want those to come forward a little bit. She does have a more prominent chin. actually does, I mean, I know she's probably sad there, but I'd say her lower lip almost comes out a little bit. Why don't I like her chin? Something is off. I think it's the skin. I think it's part of this is, and this is another thing that I do. I'm like, this skin is just not working. Which I actually don't have very many skins. I don't like having too many. It bugs me. Okay, no, that, or booklet, booklet. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Never mind. Yeah, I don't have too many because it just bothers me. Maybe her head doesn't tilt to the side. Maybe she just has those are asymmetrical features. I just wanted to look at a couple more shots. I just, I do, well, not that one. I feel like her face needs to be wider. But not necessarily there, like right here. How do I do that? No, not like that. Yeah, a little bit better. And then I need a three. There it is. Oh, that's a terrible image. Quality? Yes, no, maybe? Thinking about it. I don't think it's going to do it. Let's try this one. All right. Oh yeah, see, that's lumpy. That is lumpy. Alright. This helps, though. This helps me to see how her cheekbones should be. Should be, I think. That should be in more. I know I just did that, but yeah, it was wrong. And where is the donut? And it wouldn't be a stream or a recording of mine without noise. I swear I don't mean to record at this time on purpose. It just sort of happens. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yeah, that's better. Right. Hot pots. This is life when you're a little bit nutty. And also when your body does not work. But yeah, I try not to record at this time, but it's also really the only time I have to record. I also have to take my meds at this time, so we work with it. Alright, so her eyes... See, I hate when it does that. That is definitely... There's times where I wish I could zoom in, like I do appreciate Sims 4 allowing us to zoom in, because it is important when you're trying to get features right and you can't zoom in. I hate putting it so hard, like that just doesn't... I don't know why it's so dark there underneath her eye, because it shouldn't be, but I guess, I mean, it does make her look kind of tired, which is mean, but reality. Alright, we're going to give her, because 
I'm satisfied with this. Is it absolutely perfect? Am I still raging about her nose? A little bit. I just... No, that didn't fix it either. Yeah, I'm not happy with her nose. I'm not. I was gonna leave it. I was gonna... I was like, okay. Practice what you preach. You should leave the nose now. No, we are not. We are not leaving the nose. Let's be honest. I can't really leave things alone. Ooh, I like that better. But I think it's too long now. Back up with you. Mmm, that's too short. I'm gonna have to accept it. I can't get it better than that. And it needs to just be a little bit longer. But that's okay. We're going to accept it. What am I doing? I want to put a crown on her because that's what the tutors really love to do, was put ridiculous things on this poor woman's head. And let's be true to type. It was kind of a trash show, but hey, it was... The people's trash show. All oh, her hair clips with those earrings. I have a lot of accessories too. Like, a lot, a lot. I don't mean to. I just download everything and then I never want to get rid of it because I know that CC for The Sims 2 is really hard to get a hold of after a couple years because, let's face it, everyone moved on to Sims 3. And then they really moved on to Sims 4. So it's just... You gotta go with what you gotta go with. Oh my god, this is a really awful thing to put on her head. But... I feel like... They definitely did it to her. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Catherine Maricon deserved better. In many ways. So her Sim betrayal can at least be not awful. I think I had more fun making the historical one just because I was working from actual portraiture and there was a little bit of guesswork in it, but I just I had a lot more fun because I know that that's what she should actually look like, not an actor who was chosen for hopefully her acting abilities, but definitely did not dye her hair red for the part. And I'm bitter. Why don't any of these crowns fit this hair? Why? Real questions. Why? None of these tiaras are gonna fit. Alright. Fine. 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 Their hair might have to go. The hair might have to go. Because this is ridiculous. Goodbye hair. That's another thing I do, is I like to go randomly in the middle of my hairs. Because occasionally you strike gold. God, her face looks shorter there. It's gonna drive me insane. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane, got no brain. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Then I can slap a tiara on her. And I can actually see she's got these pearl drop earrings. I can slap those on her too because they loved some gaudy costume jewelry in that show. I don't even know why. Like, why? I don't think anybody knows why. But you just did. I would like to put something like that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have the red dress, like, as CC that she wore. What did she wear? No, it's not that. It's like the promo. Maybe I'm thinking of Anne Boleyn. I think I have this one, too. So let's try to dress her like that. Which, of course, means she's got the wrong earrings on. I don't care. That is not a thing that'll set. No hair! I literally changed for you. I changed for you. Oh, my cool. 
cool harpy stuff that I don't use but really want to someday. I might have to do something like that to her. Oh, Catherine, I'm sorry. Let's see if I got better options though. I don't know if anybody else has this problem where they just have so much CC. It's a problem. It's a bit of a hoarding problem, I think. I'm not going to do anything about my problem, but I can acknowledge it's there. Could give an obnoxious one. That's kind of like it, but it's green. Do I have one? Uh, this is hoping for too much that I have one in black. Your girl can dream. What? Red. Blue. Yellow. I don't think I ever venture this far. Usually I get board and just go, yeah, we're gonna go with that. I just don't have a high attention span, apparently. Which is not at all shocking. Alright, I think we're out of the tiaras now. Okay, yeah. So, hmm, which one is the closest? I mean, I think I would rather go with blue. I don't think red suits her. So let's go with blue. I'm not gonna give her a necklace because I don't feel like, I feel like I have this dress. Also my medieval folder is definitely filled with things that probably shouldn't be there because they span across all eras and ages, but that's why I play a medieval-esque game. It's not perfect, but then I can excuse things. Oh gosh, these are gonna be further down, I bet. Because they're older downloads. I got them from around The Sims ages ago. Like, it's been a hot minute. I do like these. Oh boy. Not good. I think I have a default replacement that ruins those. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Will I remember that? Probably not. And here comes the other problem, is finding things. I'm gonna be so mad if I don't have these installed. There will be some rage against the machine. Because I know I have them. They just might not be in this folder. Please be in my tutor folder where you belong. Because now I don't want to dress her in anything else. That's also a problem. I get fixated on a piece of CC and then for whatever reason I have removed it from my downloads folder and then I have to spend hours trying to find it. That's how I roll. Hey guys, really quick addendum to the video. The spoiler is I definitely didn't have that dress installed so I went back and I threw it in my downloads folder. I don't know why I had a separate folder with just the all about style dresses in it, but I did. I also tweaked her chin a little bit more and I changed the crown out to green because I felt like it went with the black dress. So yeah, this is our Catherine of Aragon. Definitely had to include this because I was a little upset about the dress. <laughs> so for realsies this time, I will see you guys next time. Bye.